Morning. Morning. How's the coffee business this morning? It's been good to all morning. Good. Which is good because that makes the day go by faster. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, six seventy, hun. Good morning. We just got to the and yard. Come back and it is 6.32, two minutes late again today. Not starting out too good. So we'll see what's going on, we'll see what's going on. <coughs> what's up? 6.32, you're late. Oh man, I'm about to get fired. Okay, uh, we are on day two of the first job of the season. Yesterday went well. Uh, we got done what I wanted to get done and we didn't work late. Um, so we're headed back there this morning. I have concrete at eight o'clock. Morning, how are you? All right, you sir. Good, just okay. pull up and hit me right here. stiff uh, concrete so it didn't both look that great but it's got two percent chloride in it i should say non-chloride accelerator guys are up here edging after we edge we'll cut the joints finish it broom it and move on
side. Bugs is putting the joints in there. Marcel's up here starting to finish. How's it going? Good. Why are you so lazy? Uh, I'm, hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry too, man. I've literally been starving for like two months now. You get pressure put on you now. See that? Bugs. Bugs. Why is it taking you so long? Yeah, I'm slowing on. Man. I would have been done like three or four minutes ago. Slowing on. I'm gonna go talk to Bobby. There you go. So this walk will be done and I don't know, it'll be done in like 20, 30 minutes. Finishing it up, we'll broom it, and that'll be done. Let's go see what Daryl's doing back here. Daryl! Yeah. Why are you so slow, man? Why am I so what? Slow. slow. This is still on the first course. No way. I if I would have been working on that, it would have been done. Yeah. Like right. Three or four minutes ago. Yeah. I gotta mark these. That's your excuse? Yeah. Oh, you gotta man. mark those. And I gotta fill up and find the tape. Are you guys still working on this? Still are, still milking it. Wow. You making hours? Quality takes time. Yeah. Here's all your help, boss. All right, just a quick update. Concrete's here for the patio. What's up, Daryl? Not much. What are you doing today? Have you done anything yet? I cut some block. Yeah, hey, cut it. he cut a few blocks. And I poured the two buckets of gravel in there. All right, patio's ready. This upper patio we're about to pour. Marcel! Marcel! Why are you so lazy? <laughs> Bugs! Yes, sir! Why are you so angry? That's my nature. <laughs> what do you want it? Ah, oh, brother, right here. Man, this is super wet. What the heck? It's really wet, man. Super wet. Yeah, I'll pull it all the way out and put it back in. It's like water. It's not what we needed for this. Concrete's so wet. What do you mean? That's what you ordered. A seven? Six. No, never. Five is the most I ever do. No way. Yep. I don't think I've ever ordered a six. Oh, I don't think I've bad. ordered a six in my whole life. Yeah, you know why? I looked at the yardage. The yardage was six. That's why. Well, can I text you tonight when it's dark so you can come and help us stamp? Daryl, hurry up, man! I 
Yeah, Scrape that out with something. You gotta, you gotta use your head, man. I'm gonna run and get the fire ring, and me and Daryl can start working on that. Some pizzas. Pizzas? You got money? No. You got money? Yeah, I do. Oh, I know Bugs is loaded. He's been sucking off the government for a year and a half. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now Uncle Joe's in? Man, program. Uh-huh. All right, I'll be back. All right, just a quick update. It is uh, 1.15, uh, day two of the project. Uh, I'm running right now to grab a galvanized fire ring. We're going to start building the fire pit. The concrete that they brought uh, was really wet. I have 2% non-chloride accelerator in the concrete. But they brought it, he brought it at a six inch slump. Actually, he brought it at probably a six and a half inch slump. It was pretty wet. Unfortunately, that's exactly what we didn't want today. See you, Mr. Bubba. Hey, hey. That's the radio? Ooh. Brand new, Bobby? Or no, you? that's a used one, 60 bucks. All right, well, we can, we can work with that. Whoa, Sorry. Bobby, stop! Sorry about that. You're gonna kill me. Bobby, start taking off. Oh, you're gonna like that. All right, see you, Bob. I called Daniel. He's on his way back. I said, Don't forget to stop and get the pizzas. Oh yeah. What have you been? I don't got time to stop and get pizzas. Let's what have you been doing since I've been gone? Nothing. Oh, I've been picking up. Like, yeah, right. Oh yeah, right. And I ate. That's good. Yeah, that's good. yeah you're gonna. Just... Know that's My back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny, Daryl. You're funny. That's not level, man. We got to take out some gravel on that side, I think. Yeah. Pull, pull some. Just pull some of the high stuff down to the low side. So let me see that come along. You don't know what you're doing with that yeah, thing. Do. Yeah. Uh -huh. I got one. Oh, it came off. Came, came off. Bob, cut the blocks, man. I'm not cutting the block because I know I won't cut them straight. Cut the block. You do a good job at it. Hey, listen. You're not gonna cut them worse than Daryl. I know, I did bad. These were like on a 45 degree angle. You wanna know something, the second time I talked to you today, he's called me twice, let's go out with radios. Let's yeah, it's cause we needed the gravel yeah, back. The gravel. How much did it cost, Bobby? How much money of mine did you spend? First one was 200 something, I didn't even look at the second one. The other one was a new, the antenna was cracked. That's it? <laughs> then, then he couldn't get it to work. So he opened the radio up and checked everything inside that. And then it started popping fuses. Then what? Finally, they figured out what was wrong. What was wrong? Probably a wire. The way they had a connection to where you're the package. Wow. Somehow, wired well, backwards. Well, CB's, well, Daryl must have wired that if it's wired backwards. Oh. Uh, how many did you need? 72. Oh, my. I'm not kidding. You're kidding me. 72? <laughs> you're kidding me. <laughs> 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 I got a bad back. We need 72. This, this thing ain't going to build itself, man. Bobby. It stands cool. It stands cool? Then they miss out on this easy money. It'd be crazy if you stay in school. Drop out and come and work for me. Make the easy stamp in the patio just to texture skin. Marcel's hitting all the corners and the edges. It's pretty soft right now. We're just walking them in. If it gets harder, you can use a compactor, pan compactor. Texture's turning out real nice. All right, Bugs is just finishing the faces. And uh, Marcel's stamping the faces out. What? Nothing. 
that's going to be a step down. Make sure you get that little hole right there in the middle on the top edge. This is all going to be visible. The lawn will be down towards the bottom of that edge. So we need to stamp all these faces as they'll step down from the patio onto the lawn all the way around and then obviously down into the fire pit area over there. It's looking good though. All right, we just finished it up for today. Uh, we got quite a bit done. So we have the, the wall stuck a little bit higher, the seat wall. Um, obviously the fire pit has to go a little higher too, but we were able to uh, get that all set up. We were able to get uh, the top deck poured. So it's starting to come together. You can really see what's going on now. Yesterday was a little hard to envision. So this seat wall, right here this will be two feet above the slab on the inside so anybody who wants to sit on it um, you know around the campfire that's kind of what it's there for put your drinks or your food or whatever and uh, so that'll go about another foot and a half from where it is now fire pit started just got the blocks up high enough to uh, be able to pour in the morning if the weather cooperates it's not supposed to but we'll see uh, the top deck is all stamped steps we did yesterday but that turned out real nice real happy with that really nice texture and then you can see you'll step down here onto the lower deck steps turned out good so we're gonna saw cut the joints um, in this patio and I'm gonna cut them in a cut them in at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna cut them up real small maybe four by four sections cut them on a 45 and kind of give it a uh, decorative look so that's all done it was a good day we got done what i wanted to get done if it doesn't rain in the morning we'll get that little thing poured and then get the wall at least the wall all the way up and then uh, Thursday we'll pour the driveway either way if it, even if it rains tomorrow we're gonna pour the driveway on Thursday and we'll put that circle off till Friday because Thursday is supposed to be a nice day I like to pour the driveway in nice weather sidewalks done looks real good pouring the driveway will be, be a piece of cake these guys over here pour their driveway I'm not gonna go over there now because it they're still over there, but it's horrible. There's a big difference between a quality job and um, getting a cheap price. Maybe I'll show you tomorrow if those guys aren't around. The inspector came, he okayed our approach, set up properly. Our neighbors down there didn't even pull a permit, so the inspector was not happy about that. Um, plus it was done wrong, so I don't know what he's gonna do about that, but it is what it is. So, job's coming along. That's the end of day number two. See you in the morning.